Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be um, doing a simple nail art with this Excel clear jelly stamper from Bon Pretty Store. As you can see I haven't touched it even once. So we're going to see if it needs priming or if it doesn't need priming or what we should do basically. So without further ado let's just get started with the video. So this is what the stamper looks like and I have the original marshmallow stamper and in comparison you can see how huge this is and this is supposed to be the excel stamper so you can definitely see how big it is and it has a pretty big handle here so it's really comfortable for you to hold and it is so clear. Along with it it also has a cap so you can use this and store it with the cap and that is what the head looks like I haven't felt it okay it is it's almost the same um, squishiness as that of the original clear jelly stamper and you just can close it right back up like a lid and it also comes with a flexible <laughs> with a flexible uh, scraper which you know that I love I have the flexible scraper from the you know marshmallow stamper that I got so I'm just going to be using this because it's already dirty and I'm going to use this as my backup but it's nice that it comes with a like a clear flexible sort of a stamp uh, scraper so yeah I really like that and now we're going to test this out so for that I'm going to be using a bond free store plate itself I'm going to be using BPL 029 and then I'm going to be using this image here I already have some sort of a like a smoosh challenge which I'm doing on Instagram hopefully I'll be able to keep it up every week I'm gonna leave a link to my Instagram account as usual it's gonna be there in the description box below so you guys can check out what colors or how I have done this also the clear jelly stamper will be linked in the description box below with a 10% coupon code that will be on the screen as well so you can use this on any bond pretty store orders just to get 10% off to save some money now if you can see here it does have dust on top so I'm going to remove this with the help of a cellophane tape I do not have a lint roller so I'm just going to remove this with a cellophane tape and we're just going to start with the stamping no priming nothing we're going to start right away and see if it needs priming or if it does what sort of priming it needs so yeah let's just get started purposes of demonstration I'm going to be using this white nail polish for stamping which is clearly separated and I'm going to be using um, nail trend in L04 black as my black stamping polish if it will focus anyway this is just a black stamping polish L04 black it does stamp pretty well but you do need to keep the polish uh, open for a certain while in order for it to get thickened up anyway the video is not about that so first off can you see how clear it is and it does go in like pretty well so yeah let's get started you know that did not get picked up well but that is actually okay when you compare the image to this it does have some part left off so we're gonna try again love that design it got picked up perfectly so maybe it has to do with the way I picked up the image I did left to right rather than uh, back to front so that way it picked up the design pretty well I'm so happy check out how cool is that design oh my god okay so I quickly did the middle finger and the thumb of camera and now we are going to test the white stamping polish again to see if it picks up because I now know the technique to pick it up you just need to go from left to right preferably and just add slightest bit of pressure and that way the image gets picked up so we're just going to do that with this white stamping polish again okay so I showed you the design and you can see how neatly it is picked up and even if I keep it this way like this way you are able to see the image so clearly so I just tried it on my thumb because I didn't want to ruin this beautiful design I didn't know how it was going to turn out but damn that's good so I'm going to do the same thing on all these fingers I'm not going to show you the stamp um, applying the polish and the scraping part I'm only going to show you the stamping part so that you can see how easy it is to stamp with this I 
just finished up my mani i did do some cleanup i made to apply top coat i'll insert a picture in the end with top coat but i really like the way that it turned out it looks like so finally in the end i am in love with the stamper the fact that it comes with a cap for a clear jelly stamper is amazing and the scraper i did not use this i used this but it's pretty much the same and i love it so definitely a huge thumbs up so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did then please give this video a thumbs up and let me know what you thought of this mani was the white a little too much or i don't know so yeah let me know in the comments down below and yeah please like share comment subscribe and all the jazz and i will see you in my next one till then bye